Get your free trial of our training for lawyers at www.teachucomp.com forward slash lawyers. Once you have finished creating your initial vendors within your QuickBooks company file, you should then enter any clients and cases who owed you money as of the start date of your company file. You can always add additional clients and cases as the need arises later on. Note that clients are often referred to within the QuickBooks program as customers, while your cases, matters, and projects are collectively referred to as jobs. Therefore, you enter both your clients and cases as customers and jobs into the customer job list within QuickBooks. To enter your clients into QuickBooks, please review the lesson titled The Customers and Jobs List in Chapter 3 of the Introductory QuickBooks Manual. To enter your cases into QuickBooks, please review the lesson titled Creating a Job in Chapter 18 of the Advanced QuickBooks Manual to learn how to enter jobs for customers into QuickBooks. When creating the cases, or projects and matters as jobs within the new job window. You should note that it's very common for a single case to have multiple billing rates. You may also have different rates for each client or case. You should take advantage of the custom fields within the customers list to create multiple custom fields such as partner rate or paraprofessional rate. You should review the lesson titled Using Custom Fields in Chapter 3 of the Introductory QuickBooks Manual to review the process for creating custom customer fields if needed. You can then enter these rates into the Additional Info tab when creating a new job to show the various rates available for that client or case when creating invoices. This allows you to easily override the default billing rate associated with the line items for a specific case when you are creating the invoices for this matter in the future. You should also add these custom billing rate fields to your invoice templates so that they will appear when you are performing data entry within the invoice template but that they will not appear in the printed version that you send to clients. To learn how to add custom fields to invoices, you should review the lesson titled Performing Advanced Customization in Chapter 17 of the Advanced QuickBooks Manual. Now when customizing the invoice, you can click the header tab to show any custom customer fields that you have created. You can then check the screen checkbox next to those client billing rate fields so that they will be available on screen when creating the invoice. This will allow the user who creates the invoices to see the rates available for the case and override the line item rates if needed but not display these rates on the printed copy that is sent to clients. Like what you see? Get your free trial of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash lawyers.